Hey everyone, so we're here at the Carter Vintage Instruments and I've got a boatload of mandolins. I got a Gilcrest and a Nugget and a Duton Bostel and then I've got the one that I built to kind of give a reference. But we're gonna go ahead and try them out and see the tone on them. So with that as the standard, it's kind of got a mid-range to it. We're gonna try out the others. Up next is the Duton Bostel, and this one's a 2002, so basically 20 years old. Um, So here we've got a nugget, and I've never played a nugget before. I've heard a lot about these instruments, so I'm kind of excited to try this out. Wow, I, all I can say with this is bright. It's very bright, even the low end and the high end. Last but not least, we've got the Gilcrest, um, and it's a Model 5. This one's a 2017. We'll try this one out. So the folks are graciously letting me use the original Lloyd Lahr Gibsons that they have here. So this one here we have is the F5, March 31st, 1924. <laughs> So here we've got a 1923 December 11th LAR, and you'll have to bear with me. I didn't um, tune it up. It's kind of in a drop key. I didn't really want to mess with the pegs and, and break one of the 
a heads up it or something. But yeah, this really has the the punch that you always think of when you hear of a Lloyd Lahr. instrument. Gilcrest, which I've decided to take home. Man, I'm starting to love this instrument more and more. But comparing it against the Lloyd Lahr Gibson, wow, I'm impressed with how well this sounds. First off, when you think of a Lloyd Lahr Gibson, like this is it. Um, when you play this one specifically, it just has a solid tone everywhere. So here we've got another 1923. This one's February 8th. And I apologize again, I didn't really want to try and tune it up to pitch. But this is a, definitely a powerful one as well. Now this one has a visor tone producer which is something Lloyd Lahr put in certain mandolins. It's kind of like a wooden disc and it's suspended um, and it's supposed to help uh, produce a sweeter overtone. It's really hard to tell because it's not up to pitch. I didn't want to wreck the ivory by trying to tune it so we're just gonna leave it as it is. So now we're gonna try the the original Gibson, it's a mandola from 1924, H5. 